Hey, what's up? Today we are going to talk about smartwatch with a very simple name – F1. I didn't find information about manufacture of this watch, but some online stores call it 1015. However, there are no any inscriptions or logos on the box. Anyway, F1 is one of the cheapest smartwatches on the market, only $55. It has built-in GPS, the slot for SIM card and memory card, camera and different sports modes. So let's make unboxing and full review of this smartwatch. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers. The smartwatch comes in a white cardboard box. Here you can see two images of smartwatch and black circle on top, which says about color of the watch. Also, there are red and blue color options. On the back you can find pictures with main features such as pedometer, sleep monitor, heart rate monitor, air pressure, stopwatch, compass, notification and multi-sport. We will talk about all these functions a little later. Opening the box you will see a smartwatch with factory film on the screen. You can remove it because there is another protective film in the package. Also, there is user manual and USB cable for charging. By the way, F1 smartwatch uses micro USB port for charging, so you don't need to use a special charger for watch, just use the cable from your smartphone. F1 smartwatch has pretty standard design. It comes with 1.3 inch round touchscreen and resolution of 240 by 240 pixels. The display is big, so it will be comfortable to use. There are numbers around the dial, and it reminds me Kingware K88 design. We have reviewed this smartwatch, and you can watch it by the link in description. On the right side of the watch is power button, 0.3 megapixel camera, and USB port for charging. It is covered by a rubber plug, so the water will not come inside the watch. By the way, F1 smartwatch has IP65 protection. It means that the watch is protected from the dust and direct water jest. In other words, you can wash hands without need to take off the watch. Also, the gadget doesn't afraid the rain. However, you cannot swim or even take a shower with this watch. The left side has slot for SIM card and microphone hole. Yes, there is SIM slot and microphone, so you can make calls on this watch. The speaker is located under the top strap. On the back of the watch is only heart rate sensor. There are four screws, and most likely you can remove the back, but I don't know why you need this. F1 has a silicon strap with holes to hand breathe. The watch looks so good on my thin wrist. The dimensions of the dial are 53 by 48 mm, while the total weight is only 62 grams. Compared to Android smartwatches, F1 has quite weak hardware. It has only 32 MB of RAM and 158 MB of internal memory. For example, Kingware KW88 Pro has 1 GB of RAM and 16 GB of internal memory. However, F1 is not Android smartwatch, so maybe it doesn't need powerful hardware. Also, F1 is powered by MediaTek MT2503 chipset. The smartwatch supports GPS, Bluetooth, but only 2G network, not even 3G. Also, I didn't find information about Wi-Fi. Most likely the watch doesn't support Wi-Fi. If we talk about battery, F1 has 480 mAh battery capacity. The manufacturer promises up to 7 days of standby time. If you use GPS, sports modes, calls and other functions, then the watch will work about 1-2 day. The full battery charge takes 3 hours. Finally, let's talk about main functions of the smartwatch. Here is the main dial. You can change it to another. In general, there are 3 pre-installed dials. The first swipe down opens the screen with main functions such as sound on-off, screen brightness and Bluetooth connection. The next swipes down get access to compass, barometer, heart rate monitor, sleep monitor and steps. The swipe to the left opens the menu with sports modes. F1 smartwatch is sport device, so the menu with sports modes is more important than settings menu. In fact, there is only 4 sports modes – walking, cycling, running and climbing. Also, you can watch history. If you click on the right on the screen, you will open main menu. 
Vera Dialer, Bluetooth, Find My Device, Phonebook, File Manager, App Download, Camera, Audio and Video Player, Alarm, Calendar and much more functions. Here is how camera app looks like. You can take photos or videos on smartwatch. Of course, the quality is very bad from 0.3 megapixels camera. It seems that audio player allows listen to music without need to connect a smartphone. You just need to insert microSD card with your favorite songs, connect wireless Bluetooth earbuds to the watch and listen to music, the same way you can watch videos. By the way, there is also settings menu with other options, such as set your home city, clock, sound, volume, display, international, etc. The smartwatch supports the most popular languages, and you can see all of them on your screen. F1 has a SIM slot, so you can make and receive calls. Here is how it looks like. Also, F1 is not Android smartwatch, it is compatible with Android and iOS devices. There is a special app called Panda App. This app is used for many other Chinese watches, and we already talked about its main functions. In fact, I don't think that you really need mobile app to use F1 smartwatch. All the functions are already in the watch. F1 is one of the cheapest smartwatches on the market. Yes, this is not Android smartwatch, and it doesn't support Android apps such as Play Store, YouTube, and others. However, there are many other functions such as sports modes, compass, heart rate monitor, camera, audio, and video player. Also, there is theme support, so you can make and receive calls without smartphone. Thanks for watching. If you want to buy this smartwatch, I will leave the link in description. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers. See you next time.